Okay, so while the glue dries on this, got a couple of bull blanks here. This one has a couple of large checks in it, and this one's not too bad at all, but they're just about the same size. I think it could be a good candidate for bull surgery. I've also got this leftover piece of wenge that I think I could fit in there. Who knows, I might glue something in there too. Well, I've got a few more of these scraps left. I think I could probably do something with them. Find some bowls to fit these. Well, that's got a check there. I think that could work. That could be pretty interesting. This is crepe myrtle, which is a really curly wood, as you can see. I guess I'll go with that one. Well, while I am at it, this piece of cherry has a lot of checks running through the sapwood here. So I think I'm gonna put this on the lathe, basically remove the rim and glue it on here. This is a piece of magnolia, I think. So I'm just gonna sand this rim flat. I've got the large jaws on my chuck and the small tenon on this piece of wood. And it's actually gonna be faster for me just to cut this off with the saw than to bother changing my jaws. I think this batch turned out pretty nice. Got six bowls here. This one's made from hickory with black limba. And I don't think the contrast between these two pieces is very strong. It kind of gets lost. You get it at the right angle and it kind of looks shiny. These two pieces are made from hickory and cherry. The cherry is the portion with the light sapwood. And the inserts are walnut. Really pleased with those two. This is a mystery wood. I don't know what it is, but man, it really soaked up the finish. I think I need to put another coat on this one actually, but it's a crotch piece. So it's got a little bit of figure in here, which is kind of neat. This is walnut. 
as well. This is a piece of magnolia with a piece of cherry glued on top. Inexplicably, I have a little bit of torn out grain on the inside. The rest of it turned out really nice. This is my favorite though. This is a piece of crepe myrtle with a piece of zebra wood. And just the curl in this wood is really, really spectacular. So these bowls will be going up on my Etsy store soon. Probably sometime this week. I'll have some other things to go up as well. So watch for that. If you made it this far, thanks a lot for watching. Hopefully you'll keep watching for the next episode of Cammy's Garage.